What's going on everybody? This is Klaus from Plant Based News and today we're going to be talking about Joe Rogan's recent physique reveal which has led many people to question why he's got a bubble gut. Uh, we're going to be joined by Dr. Joel Kahn who's a leading cardiologist and this is not a hate video against Joe Rogan. I actually really like the guy. He's carrying more muscle than me and less fat. It's more about if you look at his physique 20 years ago and compare it to his recent physique reveal, it's very interesting to see the way it's changed. So I hope you enjoy the video. There was this short video of Joe Rogan uh, wearing only his boxers or underwear trousers uh, that it was a weigh-in for something he did in October 2019. And I think it was related to a month of uh, no alcohol, a sober month he did with some others in October. But it created, based on kind of a side view, this question for a guy that certainly earlier in his uh, age was really a ripped you know, a uh, tough looking guy and still carries a lot of muscle on him. And I've been in his, you know, his uh, film studio and there are weight equipment everywhere. I got to believe he's still working out pretty hard. But this particular video in the side view where his abdomen looked not just a bit protuberant, but perhaps having this uh, bubble gut appearance of uh, growth hormone and insulin users in the, you know, serious professional weightlifting world, you know, has raised the question is, uh, as a man who has said many times he's taken testosterone for more than a decade, which I assume he's taking it for anti-aging purposes, uh, the only really approved use is low testosterone with sexual impairment, and he's never indicated he's taking testosterone for that valid reason. Um, and he said in the past, at least, that he's taking growth hormone, whether he is now or not, I don't know. He hasn't mentioned it recently. But there has been an explosion of discussion on Reddit and other channels about Joe Rogan uh, is suffering from the very same thing he's pointed out in some bodybuilders as being, you know, sort of an unattractive consequence of abusing agents that shouldn't be abused. So, uh, you know, it is it, what we do know is it does cause insulin resistance. So basically, as insulin resistance starts to set in, their chronically high blood sugar levels can lead to nerve damage in the limbs, especially. The more nerve damage the limbs get, the more atrophied they'll look, and as well as more distended the stomach will look. And this is the traditional cause of plumboism. And while many would say, why the hell would Joe Rogan have insulin resistance, it probably doesn't have to do with his diet necessarily. It probably has more to do with his chronic use of growth hormone. Yeah, there has been amongst the bodybuilding community and those that critique the bodybuilding community, a theory that the excess growth hormone, the excess um, other steroid building properties and uh, agents are used may cause insulin resistance may involve the, and deteriorate the normal musculature and nerve supply to some of the abdominal muscles around the lateral side of the belly and allow the belly to get this very unusual muscular but distorted shape, this roid gut, this bubble gut, this palumboism. Joe Rogan is actually really aware of this topic, um, this condition called palumboism. He actually did a video in 2017 talking uh, to an ex-bodybuilding champion about this. But what do you think? Now, for some individuals, there is significant digestive issues that simply cause the problem. And this is typically reversible with bodybuilders, whereby you see them show up on stage with a really bad carb up, using foods that cause autoimmune issues or cause brutal bloating, and they just like load up on crap that their body doesn't agree with, and it causes a brutal distended look. A lot of that just has to do with poor diet choices and things not agreeing with your stomach. And a lot of it can be result in this uh, very similar distended look. However, that's reversible simply via diet manipulation. Something like this with Joe Rogan where it's a progressive development of flagship acromegaly look. Like this is literally the kind of physique you would see somebody with palumboism take on. This is not reversible. Like you can see with the flagship bone growth in the face. Now I'm not trying to say that it's like bad or anything and this occurred. It's just this is simply what happens with chronic GH abuse. And this is what you see, you know, that traditional acromegaly look or palumboism look, you have the continued progression of bone growth, collagen uh, deposition, um, connective tissue growth. So some comments that I noticed below this video, I don't think he can diagnose Joe without personally knowing his diet and exercise routine. Plus, how do you know he's used growth hormones? 
Another comment from another person called JT on the same video. He openly admitted to using human growth hormone and testosterone replacement therapy on a podcast with Russell Brand. Uh, and another comment from, there's loads of comments, but another comment from Shanida. This video was the nicest and most professional way to say he's on steroids. But the take home is that Joe Rogan's bubble gut is most likely due to his growth hormone use in the past, his steroid use in the past. Um, he's actually been on an all meat diet recently, which has caused uh, severe diarrhea, which he posted about on his Instagram recently. Um, and I wanted to talk to Dr. Joel Kahn about whether this maybe contributed to this bubble gut. I do not think the carnivore diet causes or creates this palumboism, this bubble gut. I think it's exogenous steroids, exogenous growth hormone.